probably should not have worn a white shirt. Hey you guys, my name is Natalie and welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, hello. So glad you came on this video as you read by the amazing title, I got into nursing school. I am just so beyond happy and grateful. All my hard work and dedication paid off. So I'm gonna to talk to you about the nursing schools that I got into because this is a little confusing in the program that I'm in, but it's a bridge program. So I am currently in two nursing programs. The first nursing program that I applied to was my community college nursing program. And it is only a, an, a, an associate's nursing program. You can get your, you will get your RN with it but you only have your associates. And I knew that I wanted to have my bachelor's, I just didn't want to stick with my associates. But anyway, I applied January 31st, that was the deadline, and we found out around the end of April. So it took us a while to figure out if we were accepted because this was pretty big, that was um, a big thing. It was amazing. So I found out and I will insert the clip of me finding out that I got into my community college nursing program right here. Let's see if it's gonna happen. We already know it. It's a pretty big envelope. If yeah. it was a New nursing program student. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, you've been accepted in the Muni College Nursing Program in Fall 2020. Nursing School is an exciting award. Ah! Submit the acceptance. Hold your folder up in front of you. But I have to apply to KU's now after this. I did it! First step done. The next nursing program that I applied to was KU's nursing program, but the bridged edition. This is only allowed to people in community college nursing programs that also want to get their bachelor's and a degree from KU. So it's only available through the bridged program. I know that's kind of confusing, but you have to be in a community college program in order to also be in this one. So I will be getting my associates and my bachelor's at the same time. Sadly, I did not catch my reaction of me finding out I was accepted into KU's nursing program because I was, it came in an email. I was thinking it was gonna come in a letter and I just didn't have my camera with me. But I was very excited. Um, I definitely cried because that was so big for me. And you guys might think, oh, well, if it's a bridge program, then it's probably just like a, it says like KU nursing bridge degree when you graduate. No, it is actually the KU nursing program. It's just, I am not at KU or going to KU Med because I am taking all of the classes I need to get my RN through my community college and then the KU portion. So everything I would need um, from KU in order to get my bachelor's is their nursing courses that are online. It's still KU nursing program when I graduate. My degree will say <laughs> BSN, um, graduate of KU nursing bachelor's in science of nursing um, nothing that says bridge nothing that says partnership um, it's a KU bachelor's nursing degree so it's very um, competitive to get into this program I'm so thankful for it with that being said me being an officially now a KU student I get a KU student ID I get to go to the games I can use the library I can be up there and use all the necessities that I want because I will be the KU student basically it's just a dual student Thing. <laughs> I'm just students in two different programs. So like if you were in the KU nursing program, uh, just completely by itself, you were in the KU nursing program, you'll be getting your labs, your clinicals and everything, but still doing um, assignments that you don't get at other schools, particularly, particularly based on KU and their nursing program. So those particular classes I will be taking from this side and also pulling in all the clinicals and everything from the other school, which it's bridged because it's just a cheaper price throughout to do the bridge program because you're not paying those four years of KU tuition um, and only 30 hours of KU tuition, which is really, really nice. And I don't want anyone to get confused, but yes, I'm officially a KU nursing student, even though it's bridged. It's basically the same thing. I'm just not on their campus and going to KU Med. Still very challenging. They bring in KU professors and KU advisors to help us. So I met with them and um, early before I applied and they explained everything to me. But I will graduate um, with all the other KU nurses, nursing students from KU physically, they're just bringing us to because we went through the program as well. I don't know if that makes sense to you guys, but you can definitely go check it out, um, Bridge Nursing Program with KU and see everything 
that's acquired but i just thought that was so exciting to share i honestly cannot believe it being in two different nursing schools is going to be completely hard but so worth it to earn an associates and a bachelor's at the same time and i cannot wait i've been wanting to tell you guys for a while so i found out about ku on sunday today is thursday and i'm it's been crazy. I've been trying to also, um, when I was vlogging, I also couldn't show a lot because I was having to try to order my scrubs for my community college. And now I'm trying to figure out all the dates for KU that I have to go to and everything. And it's just, it's crazy. Um, so yeah, I'm sorry I could not share that part with you. There's still more things I can share, but so exciting. And if you're thinking about applying to nursing school, do it no matter what. If it's an associate's or a bachelor's, you get your RN either way. It just depends on what type of degree you want. And I just can't believe it. I can't believe it. Also, I changed my little filming setup right now just for the time being because it's a little bit brighter probably should not have worn a white shirt because probably kind of hard to see me but that's okay now what is next so hopefully if everything starts to um go back to normal i will have a cpr certification in june as well as my clinical orientations and orientations for ku as well as my community college um, hopefully that all happens in start nursing school of fall of 2020. I will be doing a ton of nursing vlogs. I'm so excited. So if you're interested in that, definitely subscribe because you'll be seeing it all. I will be doing <laughs> a haul for nursing school, what I got for nursing school, what's in my backpack, what I do to take notes in nursing school once I figured all of that out. And I just cannot wait for all the inspiration of videos that's going to come up. And if you are not interested in nursing or pre-nursing or any of what I've done so far and you're just seeing this now or some of my subscribers who like my channel because of my lifestyle vlogs, don't worry. I will bring a ton of those too. It's just I have more ideas of what to put out on my channel. And it's just so exciting that I can implement both styles. I'm so happy to finally share this with you guys. Everyone else knows about my community college acceptance, but people do not know about KU. So I'm waiting to tell people besides my immediate family, my best friend and my boyfriend, they know, but everyone else doesn't. So you guys are finding out firsthand and then I will post it to my social medias. I can't believe it, you guys. I'm in, I'm officially in nursing school. I'm a nursing student now. And I know I have been, but it's just, if you don't know, my college experience has been not like many. I went to a four-year university thinking that it was going to be amazing. I joined a great sorority that I truly miss and all the people there. But it just wasn't for me. I didn't find my niche of people. I didn't really go into the lifestyle there. And it just wasn't what I thought college was going to be like. So I took the chance, moved back home, joined a community college, which I said I never wanted to do. But honestly, it's probably been the best thing for me grade-wise. I've had a 4.0. When I since I came back, um, worked, studied my butt off because I may not love living at home even though I love my mom and I love having my dog here, but it's not the ideal situation for a lot of college students. Um, I know a lot of us don't want to be in the house, so I feel you. I 100% get you if you are in the same thing as me. I took a chance, moved back home after my first semester of college with everyone saying that I didn't give it a good try. I wasn't trying hard enough. I didn't put all of my efforts in to make this work. But when you're unhappy somewhere and you know that that place is just not right for you, you do what makes you happy. And I had realized I wanted to do nursing in my, that college did not have nursing as a um, major. So it was either go home, save a ton of money and do your prereqs at home or stay at this college and spend thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars just to do some prereqs and then leave after your sophomore year. I just didn't seem like it was worth it to me. It's just crazy how life moves on and I'm so happy I took that chance, stuck it through. I may not have loved the community college that I go to um, and the classes, but I do love this nursing program and this opportunity it has given me. So it's been worth it even though sometimes I felt like I'm missing out on college i'm missing out on my sorority i'm missing out on having that good group of friends that i can um relate to and talk to and be with and um literally walk right down the door and see but you know college just wasn't what i thought it was gonna be and i think i'm saying this is because you never know what's gonna happen um sometimes you just gotta take that chance 
and once you do you'll be happy and i'm so glad i did because other than that i would not have been accepted into nursing school if i stayed if any of you are going through the same situation as feeling like you are just not fitting in or not finding your niche or not knowing if it's worth it thinking about transferring always feel free to dm me i'm always here i love responding to you guys and as well as the comments if i didn't transfer i wouldn't be in nursing school right now i'd probably honestly i went in to college thinking i was going to be a music education major switched that to an open option i didn't know what i was doing last minute switched to elementary education and then i moved i came back home so it's very common to switch your major but once i found out i wanted nursing i was not gonna stay there but i just have to think to myself it'll all be worth it it's gonna be so worth it if i stay here at home get this degree of something i love so finally in nursing school guys i can't believe it thank you for subscribing to my channel thank you for watching my free nursing videos i hope you guys are as much as excited as i am for these nursing videos in the future i hope it's i hope the world goes back to normal so we all can enjoy things but obviously it's important that we do our part um and making sure everyone is safe but yes yeah, stay tuned for those nursing video guys i can't I can't believe it. And if you guessed right on my Instagram story that this was going to be my next video, congrats to you guys. I'm, yeah, it's, it's wild. Um, and again, I'm so sorry for not getting my reaction of KU. I was so upset that I didn't get it and that I just saw it on my email. Actually, to top it all off, why don't I read my KU nursing acceptance letter? It says, from KU School of Nursing. Dear Miss Wood, congratulations and welcome to the University of Kansas School of Nursing. Your application for fall 2020 admission to the program has been approved. We are pleased to have this opportunity to work with you towards your Bachelor of Science in Nursing degree. Classes begin August 24th, 2020. So I already sent in my acceptance admission paper. I already faxed that. I already did the background check and everything and I am taking it. So I will see you all in my next video and I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe if you are interested in pre-nursing still, nursing classes in the future, and lifestyle vlogs as well. Don't forget to comment down below if you have any video suggestions ideas now that I'm a nurse school or um, anything else honestly I'm so open to so all of your options because here I am making videos for you guys don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and don't forget to follow my Instagram because it's always linked in the description see you guys in the next one bye guys <laughs>